install the print driver for a Toshiba copier or a Kanaka copier. Now the first thing you would need to know is actually what version of Mac you're running. So you could hit the little Apple, go to about this Mac and it tells you exactly what version you're running. This one is at 10.7 which is right now Lion. You could be running as Leopard or something less. So, but you need to find out exactly what version you're running because you're going to need that specific driver. Now, if you go to our website, which is iotechdigital.com, that's iotechnowagedigital.com, once you get to their homepage, click on the customer support, click on print drivers, it brings you to this page here. So, once you're here, just scroll down, click on color copiers, or if you have a black and white, either or, click on the copier model that you're looking for like on myself while well, we have here a 2040 you can click on the 2040 once you get to the next page as you can tell here are the Mac drivers again here are the versions 10.2, 10.2, 10.3, 10.4, 10.6 and that right now at the moment will work with the Lion Mac driver so that will work I already have the driver downloaded I have it here so let's go get, get started to get this installed pretty much once you get that downloaded you're going to get this, click on that, run it, it's going to give you the wizard, click continue, continue again, say yes, agree, install. Now before this, there are some indications where it's going to ask you for username and password. If you do not know the admin password of your Mac, you got to find out what it is. If you don't, you're not going to be able to install this print driver. So I do not have a password on this Mac, so it should install. As you can tell, here it is, but I, sh I do not have a password, so install the software, and there it goes. It installs right away. So that pretty much, it's successful. You can close this now. Now I could go back to installing a print driver. I know I installed the driver, so now I can go now to my system preferences. Here it is. Go into your print and scan icon option. Once you do that, course we're going to add a printer so you're going to click on the plus sign you're going to add a printer here we go now remember we, we have to do this manually so do not let Mac take over so it starts installing their own driver now it has to be an IP print it will be LPD now in here it will be the IP address. Now the IP address is the IP address of the copier. My the IP for this particular copier is 192.168.1.87. Okay, once you find your IP, and again now the IP will be found on the copier or your IT uh, personnel will have that IP address. So. Or again, you could find it at the copier, and if you need more instructions how to find that IP, you could give IOTech a call, and we'll let you know how to find that IP. Okay, once you get to the IP, the Q name, this is the next step. You're going to type in there print, and that's in lowercase. You're going to type in the word print. Then the next step right here, where it says name, you can leave it the name of the car of the IP if you want to, but I like to name it what it is. This is a Toshiba copier. So I'm going to name it Toshiba, or you can name it anything you want. Uh, let's make sure this one is there. There it is. It's a Toshiba. So it's up to you if you want to give it a location. As you can tell, it picked up the driver right away. Toshiba Color MFP X4. This is our new model, the X4, fourth generation. So Mac will do that. It picks up the driver right away. Uh, I've seen it where on Kanaka's. On Lion, uh, you need to search for the drivers. If you do have to search it, you could drop down this menu, click on Other, and you could pretty much search for the new driver. So, oh, one thing on this actually, uh, you actually have to pick the X4 USA, just because we are in the USA. That's why. That's very important. So, drop down the menu. You see this option. Make sure you get the USA option. So, that's what we want. Do not select generic or generic PCL, it just doesn't work correctly, it's very unstable. So select the correct driver. Once you do that, click on add. It's now gonna say it's gonna give you a little warning, something about the driver is missing some component, which is fine. Click OK. Now right here, this is critical. Now you have to find out which model you have. 
as you can tell I do my model ser series is a 4540 so I need to install 4540 I do not have a 6550 for a series that's a larger copier I do have a 4540 series so this is important and the 4540s will land under 2040s 3040s 4540s 6550s will land under 5550s 6550s those are the models for that but I have a 4540 next step is the finisher now I do not have a finisher on this copier so I do not have to uh, install the finisher, finisher on this one it will be with no finisher if you do have one then you will make your selection here once I do uh, the drawers will pretty much stay it will be live it the way it is it's pretty much by default now I do not have an external large capacity feeder that's basically a paper uh, large capacity feeder that hangs on the side of the copier so we do not have one on this machine next step is basically click OK it installs the copier here it is now we were pretty much done here now we're close this window now to say now we want to print to that particular machine but keep in mind on the Mac you if you like to print in black and white or in color you have to set two presets one for black and one for white so again to test the print jobs just up, open up any browser or any document so you can see the option file then you can see print once you're there here it is you can select the copier which is right now I have a Toshiba copier and then now to get on the line this has changed you need to go down here where it says show details to give you the additional features now since I do want to make sure that I do not print in color all the time because my, my Max like, likes to do that uh, to set a preset you go down here with an option it will probably say Safari or Firefox whatever uh, application you're in drop down that menu now you want to go into the options that will say mine says right now actually color settings I've seen it where it will say quality or uh, like mine will say color settings I want to go to color settings mode 1 here it is there's an option for color but I want to go ahead and do a preset of black and white mono on the black is your true black and white that basically it will print everything in black and white I want to leave that at mono and then from here I want to set a preset I need to come back to the top you're going to see an option that says show current settings as preset so I'm going to click on that it gives me this box I'm going to name it I know it's going to be my black and white printing Oop, let's go back here make sure that's capitalized black and white so I know it's going to be my black and white printing only on this printer I'm going to click OK I just want to print one page and I'm going to print and the job is gone it's on its way it's printed now I want to go back and set another preset go to file print go back to the option that says Safari click on color matching I want to put this back to color I want to do another preset say current presets as and I know this is going to be color printing I will name it color click OK and I just want one page oh, don't need that and then click print job is on its way